tonight, the demonstrators have dispersed, and now there are questions about the response to this week's occupation of Portland State University's library and the surrounding pro-Palestinian protest. This is Queen 6 News at 6. I'm Elizabeth Din. I'm Jeff Cianola. We're following up on a very few busy days with a look at the damage remaining on campus. First, Joel Jones live. Joel, leaders trying to explain their decisions, particularly that police retreat that we broadcast live yesterday evening. Absolutely, Jeff, and emphasis on trying as I received mixed responses. You know, we wanted to ask about that baffling moment yesterday after police cleared this library and closed down the South Park blocks. We wanted to know why they then retreated into the Viking Pavilion, essentially handing protesters the time and the tools to barricade themselves all over again. The criminal activity that has occurred in downtown Portland in the last few days is unacceptable and in direct opposition to Oregon values. Strong words from Governor Tina Kotek following a more than three day occupation of Portland State University's library and peaceful protests devolved into violence. <laughs> Portland police reporting they broke through the barricades around 6 a.m. yesterday to find a soapy substance on the floors, severe property damage and items posed to defend protesters. Authorities cleared the library roughly two hours later, arresting 12 people before going toe to toe with pro Palestinian demonstrators in the South Park blocks. There are mothers and children and fathers that have lost their entire families. None of them care. That's why we're out here. We are here for the people of Palestine and we're being met with mace. PPB says officers deployed pepper spray, but no tear gas. Following a second round of arrests as police pushed the crowd east to Southwest Hall around 3 p.m. <laughs> screams could be heard as a counter protester drove into the crowd before running away while deploying bear spray. Police say the man was later detained and taken to a hospital for a mental evaluation. Around 5 p.m., we watched as police abandoned the region, handing control back to the protesters, who quickly used the newly elected perimeter to once again barricade themselves in. After clearing the library yesterday morning and closing down the South Park blocks with hundreds of protesters still there, why did police choose to retreat and allow those protesters to reoccupy the library? I'm going to defer that to the police bureau. That, that was a tactical decision. But when asked, Portland police said the plan all along was for us to leave the area once PSU erected the fence and boarded the windows and doors, as they were tasked with doing. When we saw they returned, we assembled a new team and addressed the issue, making arrests along the way. Portland police, leave the building now! Force will be used against you! Police returned to the library, this time clearing it again and arresting an additional eight protesters. Some were arraigned today, while others authorities are still searching for. Now, I want to add that police said another reason they chose to retreat is because they know their presence can be a, quote, flash point, end quote. So they may have been trying to defuse those tensions we saw out here yesterday. Still, that explanation seems to contradict the tactical one given by Mayor Ted Wheeler, who I will add is the police commissioner. Reporting live from the South Park Blocks, I'm Joelle Jones, Queen 6 News. Joelle, continuing to ask the tough questions. Thank you.